Inside there, it's great to see you visiting our community. You can probably hear the air conditioner in the background there. It's a little bit too warm, so I have to turn on the air conditioner. Anyway, I want to make this a blue color. I'm just going to look here and maybe just down a little bit, and that looks good. Grab my selection tool, press B on my keyboard, and when I'm done selecting it, and let's get to work. It takes about, on average, maybe 5 to 10 minutes to paint a prop. That's no problem at all. Anyway, I want this to be lighter, press B, and away we go. There's the top part finished. I really like uh, Pac-Man. I really miss that game. I don't get much time to play games anymore. Uh, work takes up a lot of time. As everybody knows, we all work about 40 to 50 hours a week. As things continue to go up in price, we have to work a lot more hours to provide for our families. Anyway. This looks good so far. I think I want it a little darker, actually. I think it's too light. Looks good. Now I'm going to go on to the main part of the machine here. Maybe I'll just make it that color. Always fun to see what you can do with this. It's always just interesting to see what type of colors you can mix together to make a really unique prop. Anyway, that looks good. And I want to go there, and this one will make it a little darker. As I go down towards the bottom, I'll make it a little darker each time. Now I have the actual part of the machine. And I'll just go up maybe a little bit lighter. Always alternating between the selection tool and the brush. Anyway, we're almost all finished here. I'm actually quite surprised how fast we're going. I want this to be really dark. Make sure that blue is highlighted there. There you go. Really looks good there. Now when I want to do my screen, I do it a black color, and then I'm going to airbrush it to show the light refraction. So this is black enough, I guess. And we'll just go across here with this color. There we go. Now it's time to add some light to it. I drag the opacity down to about 50%. And I also do the same to the flow, maybe a little less. That looks good enough. And then I go a little lighter color. Make my brush a little smaller and just quickly go across. And there you can see now our machine's off. If I want to put it on, it would probably look a lot better, but it's a lot of graphic design to be able to do that. Anyway, I have all these little dots here. This is like Pac-Man's food, he loves them. It's uh, very delicious for him. I'll just quickly go down here, Control plus on my keyboard, and I'm going to hold down Shift while I'm selecting each of them. Let's just see how fast we can do it. A little bit repetitive, but the overall result is good. Now, I could do a little bit more painting, but when you do a lot of painting, then you need to ask for more things when you give the prop to someone. An example, you might want to add like more money or you can ask for more props if you're trading with somebody anyway this looks good so far really fast and maybe I want to do them a light brown keep going down into the orange here and let's just give this a try press B on my keyboard and let's start going over them now I need to bring this back to over 50 percent we'll bring it back to 100 actually and it looks good so far. There we go. Almost finished here. Go over each one a little bit. If you miss a part, then it means you have to redo the whole machine. Anyway, it looks good. Now, I'll just show you something here quickly. If I want to make this more round and more three-dimensional, I just select it, press B on my keyboard, hold down Alt, get the color, and zoom in on it, Control plus on my keyboard and then we're gonna I could make this a little more three-dimensional like I said you could always do a lot of painting on it you need to bring these brushes back down to under 50% it looks good and we'll do the same and very fast very easy like this scalable stuff you can just do it super fast and I'm gonna make it a little darker make it a little smaller your brush and just go around the outside here and you can see it makes it a little more three-dimensional here it looks a little better now it depends how far you want to go it's totally up to you 
Now I don't think that's dark enough, so I'll just go down a little bit more and just go around. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now if I wanted the light going off of it, I would just go up into here, lower it down a little bit, and just use my bracket keys and just you can see it looks like there's a little bit of light there now. Just keep going on to it. Now that's not light enough. And there you can see our little bit of light reflecting off of the thing. And I'll just go here and show you what it looks like. Now that looks a lot better, right? Anyway, I'll probably just leave that Control-S on my keyboard to save it. And let's see what it looks like inside Cartoon Animator later.